And today, I'm here to talk about a new Sonic game that is currently in the development of being made by Red Button Studios, known as Sonic Boom. Now, we all know that recently Sonic had a previous game known as Sonic Lost World, which was supposed to be about a planet called Planet Hex, being that it had, you know, one, six monsters, had six different regions, and it was also, in a way, kind of the previous Sonic game. It was, it almost looked similar to Mario Galaxy. That being said, it was supposed to be kind of like with Mario Galaxy with the concept of zero gravity and the fact that the world, uh, kind of the camera angle kind of tilts and, you know, uh, you're in this world where it's kind of like, almost like up in the air and... And you're going to see, like, you know, places that look similar to the Sonic, the regular Sonic world, where it's all, you know, normal-like, but it's going to be all, like, 3D, 3D, 3D-ish, Mario Galaxy-like. Now, recently, we all had high hopes for that game, but however, our high hopes, along with the game, kind of fell through the cracks, I'm sorry to say. Though, it did try to verse its plumber counterpart. And by that I mean Mario, Super Mario, by, you know, making a world where you could do all this cool stuff like, uh, uh, that's almost like anti-gravity, where it looked like in Mario Galaxy, where only this time you're, like, up in the sky. A lot of the, con a lot of people had some pretty difficult moments or pretty difficult time playing this new Sonic game. Uh, one being, for example, the controls were really hard, because for those of you who really play Sonic games as avidly as I do, you will know that Sonic at times can be a little bit difficult to control, but we all kind of manage, because granted, when Sonic goes really fast, you know, granted, the speed can kind of, you know, take on a shape of its own, and you're, it's more like Sonic is playing you more than you playing Sonic, but still, it's re it becomes really fun, and you're able to work and you're able to enjoy the game that you're playing with with Sonic with him going super fast. However, in in a uh, Sonic Lost World, uh the problem with that was the fact that the world itself, the world itself, although it was pretty cool, like I said, the controllers are really hard. There were moments where, for example, you would go from one end to the other and uh and Sonic would fall off, or like when you tried to parkour up a wall, you had a hard time doing it, and also due to the fact that Sonic's very fast speed and vibration, the uh, of, which, of which he went, and him being, you know, very hard to control in his Sonic games, because sometimes they make him faster than the speed of light, even almost hard enough for the, con the player to control, uh, a lot of people found themselves cursing at the screen half the time, rather than enjoying... Uh, a great game, a great game, which would have been a great game because I mean it had great visuals, and pretty much an okay storyline from what I could see. Have, granted, it felt more like you were watching a Sonic cartoon, but still, it had a good storyline. The characters, you know, uh, you know, were were there how we wanted to with something new and some old stuff like the Wisps. So, however, a lot of people found that the Wisps were kind of like a slow pacemaker of the game, but. With, with that being said, you know, I really didn't want to turn this into a talk about Sonic Lost World. I mainly want to talk about Sonic Boom and the fact that they have redesigned the character design 
of the Sonic characters. That's right, I'm talking about they've, in a way, I mean, granted, they look how familiar as they can be, but I'm talking about body structure. For example, let's take a look at what they look like. Okay, first off, Sonic looks too human. And, I mean, Amy and Tails are fine. They just made them slightly bigger. But what the heck? Did we get Knuckles steroids? My God, look at him! It's like all of a sudden, uh, Knuckles went off of Mr. T and, and Mr. T said, Hey, sucker, c come here, come here and t take some steroids, sucker. Oh, you're going to lift weights with me, fool? Or if Hulk Hogan said, Oh, brother, you're looking redder than a hot tomato. Now here, and let's work out and take some steroids, because, you know, in, in the wrestling business, you have to be big. Do you hear what I'm saying, brother? I mean, look at it. Come on. Like, I know they, they okay, Sonic, I, guarantee, I get where, you know, they were trying to go with it. Because granted, they're try what they're trying to do at this point is, granted, we have some long-running Sonic fans from years and years ago who still play the games, and now we're trying to uh, make it appeal to a younger generation, which is fine. However, changing the design, I mean, subtle changes, like, I don't know, making him um, a few inches bigger, but completely stretching out Sonic's body length, and adding in that scarf, which is just really unnecessary. I mean, you could add some of the other characters, like for example, Tails, they give him goggles, you know, those uh, airline aviator uh, goggle helmet things, because, you know, he's a pilot, he's an inventor. But Knuckles and Sonic, eh, I get where you try to give Knuckles live up to his name, because he's, you know, the muscle head of the group. But, I don't know. This new design just doesn't work for me. And... From what I've seen, uh, he, seen and hear the gameplay, I mean, it's got a good structure. I mean, the gameplay is going to revolve around teamwork. There's going to be a lot of team missions as far as individual missions where each character is going to serve a purpose in the game from what I've seen from the gameplay, from the trailer. And granted, Sonic's games usually uh, are very promising, but I don't know. There's just a few, the character design, honestly, go back to the old character design. That mean now, with all that, I mean, I personally, I'm not, I can't say this is going to be a completely bad game because it has to come out, but so far, I'm not digging the character design. Now I want to know what you say, Phantomaniacs. Comment down below. Phantomix Phantomania saying, try not to run too fast and don't fall off the walls.